People are never ever more engaged with you than they are the second after they download something for free. Hey, what's up? This is Jason Drone. Today we're going to talk about lead magnets. And now your lead magnet is pretty much the most quintessential piece in your entire online business. Yeah, pretty much. Um, aside from maybe your sales video, but even then, you know, um, just to, so your lead magnet, <laughs> it's funny, um, reports in, in giving away stuff and bribing people for their email address has been so past say i mean it's just what you do online you know what i mean so whether it's a report whether it's a checklist or a video or um whatever a lead magnet is how you build an email list that's why it's called a lead magnet there are lots of other ways to uh other things other ways to describe it white paper is one ebook is another um, report, um, you know, so many different ways, but basically a lead magnet is this, you create something and then you give it away for free in exchange for somebody's email address. It's, it's as simple as that. Now there are lots of different formats, lots of different things you can give away. Um, our preference is a four to an eight page PDF report with a nice cover that is written for your end user, for your prospect. So it's the person who is interested and they're ready to, you know, they're, they're just interested in learning more about what you do and they're interested in learning a solution to a problem that they're having. So this lead magnet is advertised in Google. It is advertised in Facebook or LinkedIn, uh, on your website, in banner ads, um, as exit pops. Lots of different ways that you can funnel people to the lead magnet but the lead magnet itself needs to do a lot of heavy lifting first of all it needs to be something that people enjoy consume want to read you know at the end of the day if it's an, if it's not approachable they are not going to consume it they're and then they're going to be on your list for about this long and then they're going to bail um or unsubscribe or whatever because they didn't feel like they got any value they felt like they were kind of gypped even though they didn't pay anything um, but there was just little value in there so one of our favorite things to do is really put together a, a just solve one small problem with lead magnet just a small problem so whether it is a list um, of uh, 100 email subject open line 100 email email subject lines um, that get the open or if it is a email sequence for our own stuff I mean for just for stuff that we do um, or it is a checklist of things you need for a digital product or it is a mind map of, of how to build a membership site um, for some of our clients we've done guides on creating you know software dashboards on a guide on KPI metrics a guide on um, real estate, you know, uh, private funding for real estate investment, lots of different things, you know, that, that we've ended up creating. So it's not just a PDF report. We found that PDF reports get a better conversion. So oftentimes when you're advertising Facebook or when you're advertising Google on Google or whatever, then we found that PDF because it's instant and people can opt in for it, download it, scan through it, and then see if you're full of shit or not you know, it ends up being a better lead magnet and you get better conversion um, to the tune of like, we have some landing pages that will convert it 44 to 54%, somewhere in there for, for a PDF lead magnet or checklist or, you know, some sort of a PDF. Now, if it's a video, then we've had, we, we typically can't crack like 35% conversion on a video um, just because people know that they're gonna have to watch a video. They're going to have to sit through a video. Maybe that video is 45 minutes long before they get to the thing they want. Or they equate video to YouTube and YouTube is free and they can go watch YouTube videos whenever they want. You know, so video itself is kind of a different different animal. It almost takes a, 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 a bigger commitment from a, a visitor. But if the thing that you are promising in the lead magnet and the landing page is big enough, then I think they'll be able to... 
um, you'll get some good opt-in rates for a video and then they will watch that video until it's done. Then maybe the end of that video, then you're pitching something, you know, so, but those are really the two, you know, you got video, you got, you got a PDF of some sort, whether it's a checklist or, or group of checklists or something like that. Another, another way to think of a lead magnet too, or another lead magnet type almost is a webinar. So a webinar, you are doing this timed event on, let's say, Tuesday at 9, and somebody's opting in for it, and then you get the lead, and they either show up or they don't. So it's another form of lead magnet. Uh, a piece of software is another form of lead magnet. Um, we've actually done a lot of surveys as lead magnets, too. So it's, it's it might be a two- or a three-step survey. Question one is something generic. Question two is a little bit more difficult. And then question three is the email address and let me send you your results. Also is a, is a really nice lead magnet for certain things, especially if you are in a kind of a regulated space where Facebook or Google doesn't necessarily want to send you traffic. Um, surveys tend to work out pretty nice because you're kind of hiding that opt-in and, and a reviewer isn't going to go click through the survey. So that's one of the reasons why that works so well. The biggest thing with your lead magnet is just get it out. Get it out there. Write it. Walk through. I mean, put together a checklist. Put together a three, four, five page report on... It, shit, it can even be a page. It doesn't necessarily even have to be that much. But just put together something that has value for your prospects. And you're in business. You know what has value. Whatever question you get asked often, that is the thing that people want to hear or they want to learn about from you. So the quicker you can solve something for them, the faster they are going to take out their credit card and pay you money for whatever it is you're selling, whether it's a coaching program or a digital product or whatever. So get your lead magnet done. doesn't matter the form. It can be a video. Uh, it can be a PDF, it can be a checklist, but you want to get it done, get it out there, and start driving some traffic to it. If you have a paid ad budget, awesome. Facebook ads, great way to start driving lead, lead magnet traffic. If you have, or you can set up Google ads, drive some paid traffic there. You know, it's all keyword based. Um, if you don't have an ad budget, put a link at the bottom of all your blog posts. Do native kind of ads inside your blog post or do feature kind of feature box call outs or buttons at the, at the bottom of, your, of, of all of your blog posts. Put an exit pop on your website. Do everything you can to start funneling traffic into that lead magnet because the lead magnet is the first piece of your sales funnel. In every single sales funnel that we do for clients, we have a lead magnet. The lead magnet is preceded by a sales video or by an automated webinar or by uh, something that actually gets us in an affiliate product, something that, that gets the sale, something that generates the revenue. In all cases, it is preceded by a lead magnet. So your lead magnet, when, when somebody opts into your lead magnet, they go to a confirmation page. That confirmation page should have some sort of a sales video or should bridge the gap between the lead magnet and the webinar. People are never ever more engaged with you than they are the second after they download something for free. So on that page, you are going to get the highest conversion you can or the highest conversion for pretty much anything you put up. Whether it's a sales video with a free trial or a sales video with a $47 offer or a sales video that has them book a sales call with you, book a sales call with your team. No matter how you go about it, it should, and your confirmation page is the glue, the key to your sales funnel. In our sales funnels, a lot of times what we do is we have a lead magnet first. The confirmation page is a step one, step two confirmation page. Step one, download the PDF. Step two, do the next thing we want you to do, which is go watch a sales video or sign up for an automated webinar. Then when they're on the sales video or on the automated webinar, there's a button underneath or an opt-in box or whatever that gets them moving down that sales cycle, that sales funnel. So ultimately we move them from paid traffic to a landing page, a lead magnet, to a sales page, to increasing the interest, the desire, and taking action to ultimately buy something with our clients. That is a sales funnel. That's how the lead magnet 
fits in to the overall space. So if you want us to take a look at your business, to write your lead magnet, to build your sales funnel, to even just put together an action plan, we are happy to do it. Go to doneforyou.com forward slash start, fill out the form and book a call with my team. If you like this video, subscribe, of course, subscribe to the channel, you know, comment and like the video. And um, that way you're notified whenever something new comes out and I'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks.